if, since the topic of the first chapter was the cartels, what, in your view, would be the single best way to go right at the bloodstream of those cartels? The one thing which stands a chance of throttling <coughs> uh, the whole, all the misery that's been uh, discussed on both sides of this argument. You stop the swill of blood money from the cartels. And how do you do gratefully it? Gratefully received by the real cartel, which is the international banking system. And how do you do it? Uh, Antonio Maria Costa has referred to the uh, Wachovia case. It was a rare glimpse of how all this works. $110 million, small change. That's just the, that was direct uh, drug money. $376 billion, medium-sized bank, four years, a lot of money. Uh, improperly, improperly uh, 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 taken, not from a banking system in Mexico, but little holes in the wall, casas de cambio, they're called. Nobody goes to jail. They get a gentle rap on the knuckles. They're in the clear. Okay, so, so, look, you stop that. If this thing didn't make any money for anybody, whether it's the, Ed, the cartels now or is the run pharmaceutical down. I'm companies that uh, uh, will take it over if the other side wins this argument, then it's not going to work. You throttle the money. Go after the money. We want to see the rattle My own of witness the handcuffs won't listen to me. in the boardroom room and the re and the bankers in the cells not the poor all right stop stop right there all right listen <laughs> you're right <laughs> we got to turn off the spigot of blood money and we have lousy prosecutors who have no backbone who aren't doing it